Hello Taurus, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for Taurus and second house placements for the week of June 7th through the 13th. All right, we're going to start off with the moment to breathe. If you want to fast forward, it'll be about one minute. Otherwise, sit up nice and straight in through the nose, out through the mouth. Taurus, I got you, what did we get? Expansion, deeper sense of peace, um, coming into knowledge. The whole top of my scalp was tingling, so you may very well be getting closer to your higher self with spirit. Um, also, be careful of any overindulging. Okay, this is food, drink, anything, all right? Let's get your overall energy for the week. Please don't forget, I go live on Sundays for free readings and all 12 signs. If you have not seen the all 12 signs, um, check that out. They're time stamped and it's very, they're short, but they're really good readings, okay? Uh huh. And I get free weeklies on Sundays. Taurus, I'm definitely getting a move. A move is coming up. A change is coming up. Mm. You are seeing this week. Funny I said food and overindulging. Nutrition and shadow. This is you seeing where you're feeding your mind, body, soul with negative thoughts and chemicals and where you can just, you're, see, you're seeing, that eye is freaking me out. You're, you, are, <laughs> you are seeing where, where you can be healthier. This looks to be a week of health for you. This is a week of deep diving into your mindset, deep diving into, oh, it's funny that he's, go, that he's diving into the water. He's getting a drink from the water because I saw you on the ocean. Yeah, try and be around some water, flowing, flowing water, moving water this week. Um, also, get some extra water this week, okay? Yeah. You're seeing you're seeing where you're setting yourself up for failure and you're seeing how to move forward. That's beautiful. All right, what do we have for Taurus for the week of June 7th through the 13th? The weeklies have a tendency to be a little bit longer um into the future and the Sundays seem to be more for that week. So Take it how it resonates. Thank you. Unity. Move this over. Six of water coming together with someone from the past or something that you started in the past. The chariot, beautiful. Page of water. 
lovely. This is you successfully doing that deep dive into your shadow where you, and seeing how you have been feeding yourself some the wrong thing. You've been telling yourself something is okay and it's not. You've been holding yourself back. You've been seeing how to actually, you're seeing how to actually become the empress. Lovely. You are looking into, oh, you're looking into the past and seeing how you've been doing things to make a decision, the lovers, to make a decision on how to move forward. Mm, how to move forward, absolutely. Two of spring, the decision. No more procrastinating. You are seeing the way forward. The moon and ego. The only thing that's going to hold you back from your path is your own fear. The illusion of, of, of being trapped and powerful, intuitive epiphanies. Letting go of worry and fear. You are letting go of worry and fear is what I am getting. You are letting go. This is beautiful. Five of summer and nine of spring. Okay. Good. I like this. I like this for you. You are looking at the past. All right. And you are making a, a decision on how to move forward because you see how things can be better in the future. You are you are looking to manifest a much better future, but you've been procrastinating and it's time to not procrastinate any longer. There's a decision that's coming up. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower. Possible pub public recognition. Five of summer, trust that there's a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. Don't focus on what's worrying you. Okay, don't focus on the fear. This is you deepening your relationship with yourself. Nine of spring, preparing for changes. You are getting ready to make some changes. That's, that's all this is saying. You are definitely ready to make some changes and you are preparing to do exactly that. You are going within and you are seeing the way forward. I like it. Manifesting stability. Ooh, I like it. Taurus, that's lovely. You have to go in and see the shadow so that you can find the way forward. You're... You're figuring out what to say no to. Mm, seven of cups on top of the seven of cups. Ha 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 ha. I told you. Once you actually make a decision and move forward and begin, then the sun is going to come in and show you everything you need to know. Stability. Don't be too rigid. I'm getting don't be too rigid. Compare the past with the present and figure out how to move forward and don't be rigid in your in your beliefs. Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups. Don't be rigid. I'm getting rigidity on here. Taurus, I love you. You are one of my absolute favorite signs ever. Um, and we both know that you cannot move a bull if a bull does not want to move. I think you are being asked to be move, to become movable. The universe wants to move you. Yes. Yes. This is the new cycle. This is successfully closing out the past so that you can move forward. But you've got to make the decision. Two of spring again. But you're getting caught up in your head because you're defensive. Yes, you're being steadfast. Once you make, okay, this is just giving me the exact same message again. Once you release control and you let the universe 
you hand over control to the universe, the universe is going to show you the way forward. Listen to your intuition. Yes, be protective of your of of everything that you've achieved so far. But that doesn't mean that you that you have to be steadfast, that you can't be movable. I have a feeling that some of you are going to be switching jobs or moving or getting into serious relationships. But these can't come in if you don't allow them in. Okay? You have a very quick message here. Don't be immovable. Don't be immovable. That's that's basically yeah, that's basically your message. Watch what you're feeding yourself. Watch what you're you're eat you're consuming in all manners. This includes like the news, right? Stay away from the news. It is bad news. All of it is bad. It's just it, 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 we're not even gonna go there. The sun is shining down on the wand. What area to move in? Okay. Let down your, become movable. Become movable. You're being asked to become mutable is what you're being asked to do. All right, let's get a um, advice card, shall we? This was a very quick message. I'm surprised. It just kept saying the same thing. All right. Protect your own stability, your peace of mind. You're working for, you're, you are moving forward and protect the forward movement. Don't protect the past. Protect the forward movement, okay? Intuition and love. Holy crap. Two major arcanas. Number 22. Oops. I can read 21, 22. Intuition. Signs, patterns, synchronicity, trust, mystery, and magic. Intuition is, oh, and I said that you're going to be getting closer with yourself and, and, and spirit, your higher self. Okay, awesome. The voice of your unconscious mind. Intuition is your sixth sense. Heed your intuitive feelings. Intuitive skill born of practice. Pick the option that feels right. Strengthen your intuition. Tap into your other senses. Make your best guess. Be both intuitive and rational. Watch and observe. Intuition or bad past experience. Seek a second opinion. And then number seven, nope, number 12. Which is love. Guys, don't forget to join me on Sundays. Hit that like button if you would, please. Okay. Love, infatuation, love for self, confidence, love for life, and expansion. Experience love in all its forms. Love is multifaceted. Your love will shape you or break you. A past love re-enters your life. A love that deserves a second chance. Is it love or infatuation? How do you feel about yourself? Honor your body as a temple. Stop making comparisons. Make time to love and nurture yourself. Love and enjoy your uniqueness. Do what makes your heart sing and open your heart to new loves. All right, guys awesome reading. Don't let anyone from the past come back and screw you up. All right. Definitely. All right. You know, I love you. I hope to see you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.